Yo, what up, everybody? It's your boy, Ravikas, and welcome back to Coffee Talk, episode 13. Sunday, October 4th, 2020. Let's go. All right, evening whispers. We got police raid on private Coachella after party is the biggest drug and sex-related bust of the year. Wow. Fight broke out during Coachella culprits in police custody. Despite the arrest, Coachella will go on. I mean, that sounds like a music festival in the States. Anyhow, that's uh, none of my business. Uh, let's start this day off right with a little bit of coffee. Mm -hmm. That good coffee. Look at that. Welcome. Hey, Pop. Good evening, everyone. Everyone safe and sound tonight? So far, so good, officer. With the cop who's supposed to be watching this area hanging out in a coffee shop. I'm not so sure about that. Hey, I'm working right now. I just love multitasking, you know? That requires skill. Taking a break and working at the same time, you mean? You know it. That's an oxymoron. That's why I said it requires skill. Anyway, Curtis Jackson, I really need an espresso to keep me awake tonight. All right, one espresso coming up. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Hit that brew. Brew it, brew it, brew it. Brew it, brew it, brew it. Brew it, brew it, brew it. I said brew it, brew it, brew it. Hey, one espresso coming up. An energetic espresso to keep our officer upright on patrol. Heh, <laughs> you and your sense of humor. Your espressos are always out of this world. Definitely better than mine or my wife's. It's not a competition, officer. Ha, it is for her. She thought if she could make a better one, I'd stop coming to this place so often. That's not happening anytime soon. So, anything special today? Surprisingly, no. Gotta make sure this place is safe, though. What are you grinning about? I mean it. You were here the last two days, right? Yes, I was. And some crazy things happened here. And two days in a row. As if the gods were trying to give me first-hand experience. To use in my story. Still fretting over your story, eh? Well, the deadline for my draft is getting nearer. Oh yeah? How's it going? Quantity-wise, it's shaping up pretty well. Quality-wise, honestly, I'm pretty confident. Best of luck then. Do you have any updates about the last two days of chaos? For the werewolf case, I spoke to Gala about it. What? Are you going to arrest him? Some officers at the precinct were talking about it. But in the end, we agreed not to do it. Because he really helped a lot that night. We asked the folks in the hospital and some other people in the area. Without him, we'd have had a lot more problems. He helped a lot, getting most of the werewolves safe in the hospital. Too bad he couldn't lock himself up in time. Thankfully, he didn't hurt anyone. So, those who'd rather detain him can't do anything anyway. Phew. I'd be pretty mad at you if they did arrest him. Hey, being mad at me wouldn't solve anything. I know. What about Rachel's dad? Any idea what happened? I'm not too sure myself. Most of it didn't happen around here. What? Yeah, it seems like it happened out near Coachella. That's a long way away. I mean, it's not actually that far, but he wouldn't be able to walk it, not in that state. So far, that's all I know.
Rachel. Rachel, is Mr. Hendry all right? Before that, could I have a cup of hot chocolate, dark? You sure can. Last drink of the game, too. First I had the chocolate, and the chocolate, and the chocolate. Then I hit the brew, and the brew, and the brew. Chocolate, 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 chocolate. Brew, brew, brew. I said brew, brew, brew. Hey, serve it. Your hot chocolate's ready. Thank you. That's going to be fine. He woke up this afternoon. Thanks to Mr. Gala. He got help fast enough to stop things getting worse. He's doing okay then. It will take a few days before he fully recovers. But no permanent injuries we need to worry about. That's good to hear. I know. But still. It's all because of me. Because I didn't listen to him. When all he wanted to do was protect me. Rachel. Don't blame yourself for this. Please don't take offense. But is it okay for you to leave your father alone in the hospital? His friends are there at the moment. And I can't face being stuck in a room with a bunch of people I don't even know right now. Besides, I really needed to get away for a bit. So I told Dad I'm gonna visit Coffee Talk to get some fresh air. He's okay with that. He understands. He always does, I guess. Miss Rachel, what really happened last night? Dad got into a fight with some thugs. He heard him talking about me. In some very suggestive, perverted ways. Oh. He didn't like that, of course. So he moved into his cat form and started a fight with the dogs. Why did he morph? Hmm. So people wouldn't see what his human form looked like and link him directly to me. Some cops went to the crime scene. They found some eyewitnesses to testify. And they managed to find the dogs. Are they fans of yours? No. It's even worse. They work for Mr. Lester. What? Oh boy. The reason why it didn't take long for the cops to find them was because they were already under arrest. Because the party went too far last night. Whoa. How did it all connect up? They are Mr. Lester's bodyguards. They were chilling after the show, having a pre-party before the big one. And you know about guys and locker room talk, right? Yeah. Well, that's what they were doing. And I was the topic of the discussion. Ugh. So, there's that. I'm sorry to hear that. And you were right about his party. I'm glad I wasn't there. Once again, I owe Dad for... Hey, it's okay. The most important thing right now is that you're safe. And your dad made it through. I should have listened to him. He might be out of touch. But he's still way more experienced than me. And he's my father. I wish Mom was here. She'd know what to do. She'd know what to say to Dad when he's recovered. You know what? I'm sure you'll know what to do. You're an adult, remember? But I don't know. All I know is I have to be there for him when... That's it. That's all you have to do. It might be weird to hear some good advice coming from Freya. But she is right. Be there when he needs you, Rachel. And whenever you need a breath of fresh air, you can come here and relax for a while. 
guys. Thank you. I've had enough fresh air for one day. I'll go back to the hospital now. Thanks for the update, Miss Rachel. I wish your father a speedy recovery. Thank you, Curtis Jackson. Man. What a weekend. Pretty crazy, I know. Anyway, I've got to continue my patrol. It's been a pretty weird weekend. But overall, things are still safe around here. But even with that, never let your guard down, okay? No problem, officer. Thank you for checking up on us, Officer Georgia. Okay then, see ya. Are you going to leave as well, Freya? I don't think so. I've had enough rest. And I have stories to write. You're not tired? Definitely not. In fact, I think I can get it done today. Hmm, alright then. I won't bother you then. Oh, you're never a bother. Besides, this whole book project... would never have existed without this place. And you. So, thank you. The pleasure was mine. Now, I'm sure you shouldn't spend any more time on chit-chat. You've got a book to finish. Hey, <laughs> no problem, boss. Whoo, all right, guys. Whoo, another good episode down. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to. Shout out to the little nephews and cousins, and I'll see you in the next one. Deuces. <laughs>